Hello Cancer, this is your April forecast. It's a very busy month out there in the heavens, what with Mercury going retrograde at the end of the month and Mars going retrograde in the middle of the month. So let's uh, take a step-by-step -step, uh, viewpoint of how it's all going to unfold for you. On the 6th of April, we have got Venus coming into this 10th house, joining the Sun, Uranus and uh, Mercury there. So a lot happening for you, particularly during the first part of this month, uh, uh, Cancer, in your 10th house. And the 10th house is all about your career. But it's more than that. It's about what it is that you feel that you give that is your special talent, your special gifts into this world. So very often people see this 10th house as being out there in the world and politics and success and celebrity, which it can be. I'm not saying it's not, but for so many of us, we don't fall into that category. So uh, the way I see the 10th house as well is what your unique, beautiful talents are that you bring to this world that bring you joy, that you share and then bring an inspiration with to others. And uh, there is going to come a time, and it has to come eventually, where people are not working just for money, but we are working for the joy of what it is that we're doing, that we're contributing. Now, it doesn't mean to say that we're not going to make effort, and we're not going to have to work hard, because working is part of being alive, yes? It's not about that, but it's about seeing our work from a different perspective. Seeing what we do from eyes that are new. And this is what is happening here in this 10th house for you. It can mean promotion, it can mean being seen at work, it can mean being appreciated for what you've been doing for a while. Certainly it can. And it can mean a new beginning, a new job, possibility for expansion. It can mean all those wonderful things. But many of you write to me and say, I'm retired, I don't fit into this. Or I just don't fit into the, you know, it doesn't fit for me. So what I'm going to suggest is that because there's such a focus on this 10th house for you Cancerians, is to really think about, am I enjoying what I'm doing? Never mind anything else. Is it bringing me joy? And how can I renew what I'm doing to make it uh, more uplifting, more inspiring, happier? Yes, and that's what's being challenged and pulled from you from these 10th house planets this month. Yes, how can I make myself happier in my work? Because ultimately it's up to you to make yourself happy. I must be honest, it used to be a real drag to have to do 12 videos for all the signs every month. Do you know what? I absolutely love it now because I realize that it's an opportunity to connect with each and every one person at a time. And when I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at one person, you who are watching, and I'm transmitting a great deal of love, a great deal of uh, inspiring energy, and that's what I hope you're receiving, as well as all the other messages that are coming through. And that's made this so much fun for me. So how can you shine a light on what it is you do, and with Venus there, bring pleasure to it? That's the focus here. On the 6th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into this 11th house. So an opportunity for you to really begin to think about your social circle. Are you connecting with enough people that really make your heart sing? What groups could you connect with online? The internet is very much connected with this 11th house that would really inspire you, that would make you feel as though you could contribute as well. Because it's so important for each one of us to feel as though we are making a difference by being here. Yes? Otherwise, what's the point? So it's about connecting with community, the wider community, and thinking about how you can do that more efficiently, more effectively. On the 7th of the month, we've got a new moon happening here in this 10th house. So new beginnings, new beginnings possibly for your career, possibly deciding to take your career in a new direction, possibly expanding what you do into a new direction. And it's also always uh, when one house is activated, that opposite house is also equally activated by reflection. So you may be looking at the balance between home, family, spending time at home, getting quiet time and being out in the world and how you bring more of a balance into that for yourself. And then on April the 17th until June the 29th, we've got Mars going retrograde. 
Now, when Mars goes retrograde, this is not the best time for starting a new project, for getting into a very hot romance, because chances are it just tends to fizzle out when Mars goes direct a month or so, a couple of months later. So um, Mars retrograde here this month in your sixth house. Next month I'll be talking about it moving into your fifth house. Um, but in your sixth house, so um, this is an opportunity possibly to put some renewed effort into work in some way. Also maybe putting some renewed effort into your health how you're taking care of your physical body and your well-being. That would be a very good thing to do with this Mars retrograde. During Mars retrograde, it's a wonderful time for resolving conflicts. So it'd be a good time to resolve maybe something that's been uncomfortable in the workplace, maybe with other employees, fellow workers, that kind of thing. Uh, it's an opportunity when Mars goes retrograde. It kind of, it's kind of like a hold your horses moment. It's like, whoa, hang on. Yeah, because Mars is always moving forwards and doesn't want to stop, doesn't look sideways. So when it's going backwards, it gives a little bit more breathing space to be able to see the other person's side of something, to be able to see a different perspective and to resolve something that's possibly been very annoying and frustrating for a long time. What I'm going to suggest is you don't buy anything mechanical and don't start a lawsuit. Not during Mars retrograde, chances are you'll lose. If the other person starts, chances are they'll lose. But that's just how Mars retrograde tends to work. On April the 20th, we've got the sun coming into this 11th house, shining a light for you on your dreams, on your wishes. What is it that you want to create for yourself this year? What is it that you, uh, because your birthdays are not that far off, uh, Cancers, so uh, what is it you're hoping for on a personal level? but also on a wider level, because we've got such a bigger opportunity now with our wonderful technology and communications to really reach people on a wider scale than we've ever been able to do before. So good time to think of your dreams and your wishes. On April the 22nd, we've got a full moon happening here in your fifth house, shining a light for you, possibly on its time to get into your own business. It's time to grow a business. It's time to do something more creative. Might be shining a light on a situation with a child or a young person. And also shining a light, really, Cancerians, on them. Um, are, you are you bringing joy into your life? Are you seeing joy all around you? Are you seeing negativity? What are you seeing? And this full moon may just bring things to a head, may show you the areas that you maybe need to sort of um, dust up a little bit and bring out some, you know, it's like, it's, it's almost like you've got um, a diamond, but it's covered in dust and you can't see it. And you can, you know, you begin to dust it and you dust it and you clean it and you clean it and you see underneath, <gasps> You've got the most beautiful diamond. And that's what's inside of you. And that's what this full moon is shining a light on. For you to see the beauty inside of you and to look at it. So dust off the cobwebs, dust off the negative things, dust off the things that, sorry, that's probably affected the sound, um, but dust it off. Yes, get rid of the static on your line and bring a nice clear line of your creative excitement and joy for life. That's what that full moon is wanting from you. On the 29th of the month, we've got Mercury going retrograde until the 23rd of May. It's a good time to rethink some of your social connections, good time to read, good time to relax, good time to reassess um, everything in your life and um, just try not to get frustrated because often during Mars retrograde people get just very frustrated about things not moving forward as they had anticipated. If you can not allow yourself to get frustrated but just breathe, reevaluate, reassess, realign yourself and you'll find that this can be a very easy, wonderful, beautiful time for you. It can be a really loving time. You can have lots of new beginnings and new opportunities, especially in your work area, especially in your social life, and especially in your career, and also your uh, unique talents and gifts that you bring to this world. 
So I wish you a wonderful month, dear Cancerians. Thank you very much for commenting, sharing, subscribing. I do love to hear your feedback because it does enable me to really make these videos better and better. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.